would say the main thing is, you know, the God, it's, it, this is an interesting thing. The God of Israel is still at work. Do you know what? The Messiah of Israel was at work. Bisem Yeshua Hamasyah selalu mesejahtera di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus untuk kita semua. Teman-teman sekalian pada video kali ini kita akan mendengarkan satu kesaksian tentara Israel yang walaupun dalam situasi sulit sekalipun dalam keadaan bahaya sekalipun dalam lembah kekelaman ya seperti saya pakai orang Daud dia tetap memberitakan Injil dan ini suatu motivasi bagi kita teman-teman sekalian. Mereka saat ini sedang berjuang untuk mempertahankan negaranya dari serangan uh, teroris teman-teman sekalian dan uh, Kita tahu bahwa saat ini uh, Israel terus dimusuhi, terus dikutuk, terus di uh, ya dipojokan, tetapi mereka terus memberkati. Nah, teman-teman sekalian ini sangat bagus sekali. Mari kita mendengarkan satu uh, kesaksian yang disampaikan oleh salah seorang tentara Israel berikut. Anda sebagai orang percaya Yesus, pengikut Yesus, bagaimana caranya Injil bekerja dalam situasi seperti well, ini? I would say the main thing is, you know, the God, it's, it, this is an interesting thing. The God of Israel is still at work. Do you know what? The Messiah of Israel was at work even in the Old Testament. Isn't this amazing? The Messiah, the birth, the, the, the things leading up to King David, to to the birth of Messiah, um, still. The Messiah is at work, sometimes not known that his name is Yeshua, but still defending his, the line of Judah is, is roaring. And, and let me put, let me put it this way. The God of Israel will not let his land be destroyed. He will not let his people be wiped off the face of the earth because it, it goes against his Bible. Then he would be a liar. And if that happens, because they all join together, Iran, let's just say Iran and even China, even Russia. Let's just say, and they they have the, and they say we'll we'll uh, remove Israel from the face of the earth as they've sworn to do in Iran, with all the proxies that I mentioned and more. Well, it wouldn't happen because the Lion of Judah is on the battlefield and he is fighting for his 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 land. And I just today, as I was driving on my Hummer, I'm a gunner. I'm a, so I was I was there and I put actually at one point some worship playing in my in my head in my air pods at one part. I probably shouldn't have done that, but. Uh, I was needing some encouragement really bad. I was so fatigued after day. I slept only three hours last night. And that's how it is. So much training, so much going on. Uh, it's war. It is war. It's it's war operation. It's not regular training day. Uh, how does this work theologically? You unpack it for me. But here's what I felt. I felt the Father, you know, the God of Israel has great favor for the heroes of Israel in this time who are arising. I mentioned some girls, guys. That he he has looks with great favor over his sons and daughters. You know the heroes of Israel, and he's he is just so proud of these brave uh, men and women. And it does say in Romans 11 verse 26, all of Israel will be saved. How? When? What elements lead us to a see for a veil, a, a great veil over Israel? You know, and, and I talk about this in churches when I talk for the, on behalf of the charity, Aliyah Return Center, which is now, by the way, helping a lot of people. There's there's hundreds of thousands of, of Jewish people who have fled their homes, like such as the homes I was talking about I was in today. Oh, man, you don't want to be in those houses. And in fact, I don't even know when they're going to want to go back unless we really restore security. Imagine grenades all in your house. You're all your walls riddled with bullets. You still have your fridge there all shot up. Your blood all over, splattered everywhere. This is what I saw today. This is what I see every day. Uh, and uh, and so, how are you going to want to go back there to your house where you have your little Monopoly game and your little, uh, you know, your your whatever you do and with your kids? So my point is, God is so pleased with the heroes of Israel right now, and and I believe that in and through this, He's showing, He's showing, He He allowed for a hard time to come upon us to bring us to our knees, and now. And we were completely caught off guard, and so many people died. And uh, but this is even worse in many ways because of the amount of people that died now. I mean, it's the worst. It is the worst. Uh, the most people dead in a day in this short of a time since the Holocaust. 
Bagaimana cara gereja-gereja berdiri bersama Israel hari-hari ini? So I'd say two things. One is recognizing it is a spiritual battle. Nobody the, the amount of struggle that people are having on the college campuses in America all over the world. Uh, it's a spiritual battle. It's it's a it's a it's a it's 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 when you have barbaric murderers on one side who set out to go to kids uh, the the Bnei Akiva the Bnei Akiva youth thing to murder kids of course but they purposefully went to kill a kids in a kids big Rabbi Akiva um, school that happened to be that that was closed and they weren't able to get into that specific place but that was their goal then this this peace festival music festival so my point is recognize that it's a prince of persia spirit like daniel recognized and say what did daniel do what did esther do when they recognize they're dealing with a prince of persia and they need michael the archangel there's a battle in the heavenlies and so esther decided to fast she said Let's do that global global esther fast and just keep doing these strikes um for three days and in Esther fasted with her maidens which were not Jewish so she had Persians or Iranians modern day Iranians yeah. Jews and non-Jews are fasting together for to defeat the prince of Persia go before the king we got to go before the king and and have his favor and that's not a king of Persia but before the lord that's what is recognizing it's a spiritual um spiritual thing and taking taking it to the enemy in the place of prayer and fasting this is demonic Uh, and keep in mind the future third third and final thing keep in mind the future guess what there's a future that god has isaiah 19 of peace for all the sons and daughters of abraham it's not through backing hamas it's not through backing terror or saying well we want we want to take care of everyone god wants to take care of everyone taking care of israel is taking care of all the sons and daughters of abraham god has a plan for the arabs he wants us to be at peace not under this demonic rule he doesn't want them to be under this demonic rule What will happen in the future in Gaza I do not know. Maybe it'll be a water park, maybe it'll be a beautiful place where all the world can come and hold conferences and maybe it'll be just a beautiful beachfront uh awesome place that's at peace. Maybe it'll be part of another emirate. I have no idea. But right now we have to complete the mission and restore security and keep our minds stayed on. So pray for all the soldier protection, pray for all the nurses working day and night. Just keep pray for the emergency aid initiative of the Ali Air Return Center. every opportunity i get whether it's praying with the guys it, you know i pray i'm i'm a believer people know i'm a believer and uh, just being shining a light just say guys hey you're facing the, you're facing life and death situation you take one wrong step you're dead one trip wire one booby trap thing one missile one uh barrage of missiles that hit tel aviv and hit all over israel you're dead okay you're going to meet you're going to be you, let's pray Let's pray it up, you know, and and so I would say just for more opportunities to pray with guys and I'm a, I'm a respected uh long-term person that served in the army for many many years, been in many wars, so people do look to me for what do you do in a war uh that haven't been in one, for example. And so that's opportunities. Praise God for opportunities just for peace for everybody, not just me, but everybody who has family. Damai hanya bisa terwujud tanpa terorisme. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel. Oke okay, teman-teman sekalian itu yang kita sudah dengarkan bersama dari kesaksian salah seorang tentara daripada Israel yang tentu saja dia beragama Kristen dan katanya walaupun situasi perang saat ini Injil tetap diberitakan ini sesuatu yang luar biasa sekali dan juga hal yang terpenting tadi poinnya adalah mendoakan musuh-musuhnya agar musuh-musuhnya itu bertobat rumah sekalian sehingga tujuannya tidak terjadi lagi penumpahan darah ya dan banyak korban yang ya tentu saja meninggal ya akibat peperangan ini. Ini adalah luar biasa menjadi motivasi bagi kita supaya di manapun kita berada situasi apapun yang kita hadapi mari kita tetap memperkatakan firman Tuhan dan mendoakan orang-orang yang memusuhi kita, membenci kita supaya nama Tuhan dimuliakan karena itulah ajaran kekristenan. Terima kasih teman-teman sekalian. Uh, saya diberkati melalui video ini dan saya percaya teman-teman juga diberkati. Oleh karenanya mari kita menjadi pelaku daripada kebenaran-kebenaran firman Tuhan. Saya Arif Gula undur diri sampai ketemu di video berikutnya. Tuhan Yesus memberkati kita semua. Salam.